Hey everyone, I'm CNC Sean. In this video, we're gonna get the countertop done for our showroom cabinets using a material I've never cut before. All right, here we're at our showroom cabinets. This is where we're gonna put our countertop. You know, we had a whole video on this. If you didn't check it out, be sure to check out the link for that. And you can see the whole operation of how we put this together. First thing we gotta do is we're gonna use a three quarter inch Baltic birch, do a little build up in our support for our countertop. You know, we've cut that a ton of times. So we'll run over to the machine. It's already set to go, get that cut. We've got all our Baltic birch supports cut. You know, we'll set them in here, screw them in, take care of them, secure them really well. We do have a little extra filling in behind on the wall to support the gaps there. We wanna make sure we don't end up with a crack in the countertop. You know, one thing I wanted to point out, when we were cutting this Baltic birch, a lot of times using a compression bit, you'll see a little bit of dust still packed in. But if you take a look again, you'll notice how well that dust boot worked and there was nothing left. You know, dust free, a lot less to clean up worked out really well. That being said, let's go take a look at what we got for our countertop material. All right, we're gonna use a solid surface material. I did think back to when we did that lithophane, we used it there, but it's a lot different application, you know, and, and um, the feeds and speeds, the tooling you're gonna use is a lot different. So anytime you're gonna cut something new, it's always a good idea to get that dialed in. I did talk with Vortex, they supplied us with tools for this. We're gonna use a, a two flute up shear uh, 4240 tool for uh, our cutouts. And then we're gonna do miter folds and we're gonna use just an insert miter bit. Um, they helped me out get an idea where we wanna be, but this material comes in 12 foot lengths. So that being said, you know, we've only got an eight foot bed on the, on the machine. So we cut some off and I use that to play around a little bit. I did a couple tests with the miter fold, dialed into what, uh, what's gonna work the best, what I like the best, and now we're all set, the tools are set up, we can throw the material on and we can start cutting our countertop.
Okay, we got our countertop ready. We finished up last night with gluing the seam for the uh, miter fold here. And we can take the tape off, get it ready to go. We'll get it in place. We got one seam to do over there. After that, we'll sand it up and we'll be able to reveal the new countertop for the showroom cabinets. Top's all done, got it all cleaned up. We did a, a little bit of a matte finish on this. Kind of up to you, you know, you can keep sanding it, you can go further, higher grit, get a gloss, polish finish if you want, but we like the matte. You know, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. The, uh, the miter folds, you can't even see the seam. Where we did seam it across here, uh, I mean, you really have to look for it. it. It just turned out fantastic, I'm really happy with it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.